Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I need to tell you this story. I shared a story uh, yesterday evening about a garment I was making. Actually, it was just a short video about this garment. I rarely share before, after pictures or stories about what I'm making, but that one felt special. And, and I need to tell a bigger story. I really do. I started sewing about six or seven years ago. I had never sewn before. I was struggling with the um, after effects of a head injury um, and post-concussive disorder. And one day I was walking through my house and something said, make a dress. And I was like, okay, now I'm really losing it. Because um, I'd never sewn before. I'd never made anything on a machine, never never made a full garment. I'd hem clothes for people, done little repairs back when I was a girl. And I didn't even remember that. <laughs> and so um, this thing said make a dress. I had some fabric. I pulled it out. I didn't have any patterns. I folded it some kind of origami way, cut, and made this dress. And I wore it the next day. I had to hand stitch it. I wore it the next day. I wore it to church. And everybody in church commented on how amazing this dress was and how beautiful it was. And, and their encouragement was the encouragement to go forward. Now, I've been in church communities in the past where if I had said I made this dress, I would not have been encouraged to make another one. But they were just so beautiful and so encouraging. Now, I sit next to a woman, um, probably by the third week, I'd probably made 10 garments because I was sewing every day. I didn't want to lose whatever this crazy magic was. And I always felt like somebody was guiding me, like they were just helping me along. And so I was sitting next to my friend in church, and she said, oh, that is so beautiful. And I said, I made it. <laughs> and she told me about her daughter. And I didn't know about her daughter. Um, she actually said, oh, she said her daughter's name, and she said she would love that, and da-da-da-da-da. And so... I didn't know the daughter was passed away. And then we talked about it again. And I said, I cannot wait to meet her. And she held my hand and said, oh, Bertice, that's right. You don't know. And it was because I wasn't there when it happened. I wasn't around that long. I wasn't a member of this church that long. We weren't friends that long. I didn't know. And she said, she's, she's gone on home with God or something to that effect. And I said, oh, Oh, and the first thing out of my mouth was, that must be who I'm talking to. <laughs> because I knew I would say, I want to do such and such. And she said, no. And so many days she would say to me, that looks like something my daughter would make. And that looks like something. And so when she gave me these precious pieces that she had been working on, I wept. Because letting go of things like that is very very difficult. And so to figure it out, to figure what was what, and to give it back is a tiny, tiny thing in the scheme of life and love. The bigger thing was her giving it to me, her letting it go. I read through some of the comments last night and so many people were like, tell your friend to put it on, take a picture so we can see it, or I can't wait until we see it, or we, who we, who we, I can't wait to do something else like this. I can't wait to find a way to connect folks with the love that they're missing. I can't wait to do more in the world that shines a light on God's love. We got to stop with the need to see more, to know more, to have more, to FOMO more. And just find ways to create, find ways to connect, find ways to use whatever it is that you do to make the world a more fragrant place, to make it more fragrant for somebody else. Please don't say, don't let them, don't let them. Nobody is letting me anything. The beauty that this has brought forth is always more beauty. 
No one is letting me or making me or doing what I needed to say was this bigger story of this beautiful connection that love never leaves. And when we love one another and share the stories of our loss with one another, we let our loved ones live again and again. I love you.